So there's an unnecessary hate train going on right now, and I think I need to put a halt to it before it goes any further. The new Berserk 2016 anime is out. As of the recording of this video, there are two episodes out, and I'll tell you right now that I am absolutely dying for episode three to come out already. One of the major complaints bottom line that people have with the Berserk anime is that the CGI, the animation, and to a certain extent the art is just shit. And I will tell you right now that I, for the most part, agree. Yeah, that CGI looks horrible. It looks like some PS2 video game cutscenes or some shit like that. It doesn't look good. So I'm going to be the first to tell you that, yeah, it doesn't look good. However, one of the strong points about this anime that it supersedes anything is that the story is so, to put it blunt, bomb ass that it doesn't really matter. Because, like, if you have an amazing story with amazing characters and amazing themes and shit like that, it can fucking outdo anything. Anything. And that's one of the things I feel as though this Berserk anime is doing so well and people just continue to shit on it because of aesthetics. It's kind of like going into a video game and you know a lot of people say graphics don't matter. Going to a video game that has shitty graphics with great gameplay, great story and everything. You're like, oh this game is terrible because of graphics. No! It is fucking awesome and I'll tell you right now, I'm definitely rocking with this Berserk 2016 anime. Two episodes in, I mean it's not too heavy on censorship. There is a little bit of censorship but it's not too heavy on that. I mean the main character Guts, do I really? need to spell it out for you. You haven't seen Berserk in case you don't know. This is basically a continuation of the three films that were released a couple years ago. So yeah it kind of continues that storyline, that plot line. It in a way continues the old anime but there are certain elements that the old anime took out so it's kind of hard to you know bridge the gap between the two series but in a nutshell it takes place after you know the golden age arc and stuff like that. And honestly I really love the way they're doing things with it. I mean you have the current time period. You get to see what's going on with Guts now. How he's being constantly constantly haunted by these demons, they're always coming after them and shit like that, and then you get the little cutscenes that it helps not only people that haven't seen the old stuff to kind of understand a little bit of why he is the way he is, what happened to him and stuff like that, the cutscenes with Griffith, but it also reminds us and is also done in a very nice way, like the art sometimes does look really beautiful, especially the Griffith scenes, I'm like, yo, you know how to make that motherfucker shine. And another complaint that people are having is that the anime is skipping out on very vital content from the manga and it's kind of making things make no sense so to speak I've read a good chunk of the manga I'm somewhere in the late 20s volume wise so I read the manga and I'll tell you right now yeah it is fast paced it is skipping out on stuff but it still is standing on its own two legs and I think that Berserk right now people are very underestimating how amazing it is I think they take one look at it they're like Ugh, and they walk away when Berserk has so much more to offer and one of the things that I feel while watching this is it's bringing something to the table that you don't really get because Berserk has this long rich history of story it brings something fresh in a way because anime nowadays a lot of them just feel very generic it's like oh you know I'm trapped in this world this video game blah 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 and you know so on and so forth but it looks pretty Berserk is kind of the opposite it doesn't look pretty it looks like ugh but it's absolutely amazing it's doing its own thing as it's always done and honestly it's, it's just phenomenal the main character Guts again and just continuing his quest for vengeance and to save somebody and throughout it is like it, it's fucking phenomenal. I am a little bit wondering why Puck is blue and prior to this I always imagined Puck green. I don't know if it's from the movies he was green and stuff like that but yeah that's a little tiny complaint but yo even Farness finally making it into an animated form like yo look out for Farness and honestly just again I am so fucking excited about it and I, I thought I wasn't gonna like it I honestly thought I wouldn't be able to get past the shitty CGI the shitty animation but I did and that's one of the great things about about it. It's like it's so strong the content the characters the themes everything about what guts is going through is so strong That I don't even give a fuck that it looks like you know ps2 graphics and shit like that It's so good and that's my message for all the people that are shitting on it and making up stupid excuses to hate on it Bottom line yes, it is fast-paced and it's skipping out on things But it is still connecting things very well it's still doing a great job at displaying berserk in a animated format I mean don't get me wrong. It's not the berserk that we deserve We deserve to have that beautiful art and animation that great pacing with all the content and details, but we're not getting it. This is what we're getting, and honestly, you need to accept it because it's still phenomenal. It's still berserk. It's still based on one of the greatest and most rich stories of all time in manga history and literature in general, and I love it. I'm personally, right now, after two episodes of Berserk, I'll tell you, it has a lot of problems art-wise and, you know, CGI and shit like that, and it's skipping out on some stuff, but it's still 
phenomenal and i fucking can't wait for the next episode but let me know what you guys think if you've seen the berserk 2016 anime do you have complaints about it i mean i think it's the obvious the cgi is the main complaint everyone has but aside from that what is your overall thoughts on berserk thus far me personally i love it i can't wait for more and what are your thoughts on what's going on in the story right now i mean with guts him fucking kidnapping bitches and fucking slicing motherfuckers in half like you cannot just like look at this and say oh you know this story is shit you, you, you're on drugs if you do that. And your overall take, I, I I can't wait. I love Berserk 2016. That's my first impressions. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fun of World. And as always, people, have an awesome day.